Creek. I'm Jerry with PressureWasher.net, Bulldog Pro Pressure Washers, and uh, this is an example portable combination between a cold water pressure washer and a portable heater. Um, this heater runs on 12 volts, which the engine gladly performs in its charging system to the, keep the battery up. Uh, we've got a connection, a quick connect on the battery for um, uh, hooking this thing up when you want to use the heater um, and um, not wasting any gasoline on energy to run. A belt drive generator obviously allows you to put all your horsepower into pumping water and cleaning things fast instead of wasting gasoline on a belt drive generator. Anyway, back to the 12 volt heater. These utilize a flow switch flame control and a redundant temperature control for protecting the heater coil. Um, the outlet temperature control on this particular unit is for tile and grout cleaning as well. So we've got it. Uh, we've got the 245 degree version on here, adjustable, and um, with the inlet temperature control set for 140 degrees, there's no way that this heater can can see more than 140 degrees coming in if somebody accidentally hooked it up to a hot water source. And there's no way that this heater can blow up from being overheated uh, by water not moving through the heater. You see the fireball is in the bottom of the heater and the outlet temperature control is up here at the top. With the 140 degree temperature limit switch on the inlet side of the heater, where the fireball is, the heat comes to this fitting and turns the heater off long before the temperature control up here at the outlet of the heater would turn off. This is one of the reasons our heater coils last 15 to 25 years, depending on how, long, how well you treat this. Now, um, one thing more about the 12 volt burners, okay? A 12 volt burner with a relay being controlled by the control circuit only draws about an amp to run the relay. We let the relay throw all the power to the high voltage in the fuel solenoid so that number one, the fuel solenoid and the, and the high voltage are reliable, and number two, our control circuit is really reliable. We're using three, three amp to 15 amp control switches, and we're only putting one amp across them for the rest of our lives. These things live a long time. We do put um, a pressure gauge on the fuel pump so that you can see what the, what the fuel pressure is and know what the condition is of your fuel supply. We have a cleanable screen fuel filter element on this, which is real easy to get to and clean. These things are made for the rapid elimination of downtime. When something does go wrong, you've, you've, got, you've got something that's easy to work with. If you need to check the power across, um, across the circuit, there's also indicator lights over on the other side. We've got an indicator light that tells us we're getting power from the control circuit to the relay. This is self-diagnosing. So with, uh, with the fuel pressure gauge to tell you, yes, you've got good fuel pressure, and the indicator light to tell you yes or no that you have a control circuit that's being turned on, we know whether um, we've got a high voltage fuel solenoid problem or whether we've got a fuel supply or a control circuit problem. This really makes the, uh, the troubleshooting simple on these heaters. And um, that's gonna give you a longer term lower cost. All right, while I'm standing here, this is going to have a shroud on it directing the heat up. Um, we're having these made out of stainless steel. We don't want somebody to be standing in front of this thing and get a blast of hot, uh, hot air. Um, but we don't want the rain to go in this thing. So when these heaters are mounted on a trailer or a truck and you're into parking garages, instead of directing the heat right up to the, uh, to, into the fire sprinkler system, we're directing it out sideways so it's much easier to control the heat going to the ceiling. But this is going to have a shroud on it, a, a shield to deflect the heat up and around instead of um, coming straight out into somebody maybe walking by. Anyway, Bulldog Pro, making them best.